Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, Topaz Labs released an update to Photo AI version 2.2.0. This update includes a new feature, an object selection brush. With the object selection brush, you're able to use AI to selectively sharpen objects in an image. Now, subsequently, they released another update, version 2.2.1. This update added a little bit of a wrinkle to the object selection brush in that you'll now get an on-hover preview with the brush. In today's video, I'm going to cover all of that. Now, we're going to be working on this image. This is an Icon RAW file. And the reason why I want to work on this image, because if you look at it rather closely, you'll notice that the lioness is sharp. So I obviously sharpened on her. Her cub, on the other hand, is a bit blurry. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to remove the noise, first of all. It was shot at ISO 16, so there is a little bit of noise, particularly in the background. So I'd like to remove the noise, but I'd also kind of like to equalize the sharpening. I'd like the cub to be sharper so that it is more equal to the sharpness of the lioness so that when I return to Lightroom and continue with my editing, it might be a little easier to get a good edit on this image. I won't have to worry about over sharpening the lioness and or under sharpening her cup. Now I am obviously using Topaz Photo AI as a Lightroom plugin. The object selection brush works identically whether you use it as a Lightroom plugin, a Photoshop plugin, or a standalone app. I just, as I mentioned, my normal workflow is using Photo AI as a Lightroom plugin. So let's send this over to Photo AI. To do that, we're going to go up to File, down to Plugin Extras, then over and <laughs> then the Plugin Extras, and over and all the way down to the very bottom, Process with Topaz Photo AI. Now, while it's sending over it over there, I want to mention very quickly that if you go to my website, anthonymorganti.com, at the top, you can get some free keyboard shortcuts. They're downloadable PDFs that you can print at home for Lightroom Classic, Photoshop, On One Photo Raw and Luminar Neo. Also, if you're interested, I have a complete course on Lightroom Classic. In the description below this video, I'll have a discount code for that. I also have some Lightroom presets, some Lightroom profiles, some On One Photo Raw presets, some Luminar Neo presets. Those are currently on sale for $14. And I have some 3D LUTs. The 3D LUTs will work in any application that uses a LUT. Lightroom does not use LUTs, so if you're a Lightroom user, do not buy the 3D LUTs. They will work in Luminar Neo, on run Photo Raw, Photoshop, and again, any application that accepts a LUT. Now, let's go back to Photo AI. When Photo AI loads an image or you load an image into Photo AI, it will do something called the autopilot. It will determine what is needed. In this case, it determined that this image just needs noise removed. You can see that that is the only thing turned on on the right. It did a good job. I don't see any noise in the background anymore. If it didn't do a good job, I, of course, could roll this open. I could use choose a different AI model, or I could just come in and move the sliders more to the right to try to remove the noise. But I think it did a good job, so I don't have to worry about that. Now, it determined that the image doesn't need any sharpening, but I, as I mentioned, want to sharpen the cub on the cub, all right? So we're going to go over and turn sharpening on, and then we'll roll this open. Now, it's finding the subject automatically, and I hover over subject only. You'll notice that it thinks the subject is the lioness in the cub, and I mentioned I don't want to do any editing to the lioness. So I need to change this, and I'm going to use the um, object selection brush to change this. To do this, go to Edit Subject. You'll see you'll get this drop down. We don't want to use the default. We don't want to need, need to choose one of the options here. We're just going to click None. We're going to make sure that we're adding. Click the Add Brush. Go to this drop down and choose the new object selection brush. I mentioned in 2.2.1, they added a wrinkle to this brush that if I hover over an object, it will give me a mask outline of what that object is. So you can make sure that you're masking properly. I'll hover over the cub and you can see that it gives me the mask outline. That's that wrinkle that was added to 2.2.1. So I just want to mask the cub. So we'll click on the cub. All right. So we clicked on that cub. We have our mask on it. All right. Now we're going to click apply. Now it's got to go the, to the whole autopilot routine again. 
and then it did the sharpening and you could see that it sharpening the subject just the cub it used standard sharpening and it has the strength of 52 and the minor denoise at 55 and actually that looks okay except i think the back of the cub here is in like in here is a little bit over sharpened so what I want to do is I want to modify this further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit subject. We're still going to use this same uh, quick sele our object selection brush mask that I did, but we're going to subtract from it. So we're going to click on subtract. Then we're going to go to the drop down and we're going to go to our regular brush. And I'm just going to get a regular brush. I'm going to use the right bracket key to make this a little bigger. And I want to remove the mask from pretty much everywhere but the cub's face. And you can see there's a little delay, which is kind of annoying. When I record my screen, that of course takes up a lot of resources as we're going here, and that kind of makes things sometimes run a little slower. But I'm sure this, whoops, I went too far there, but we could always add it back if I wanted to. All right, so we could add this back, just click the add brush, and then we'll come in and get a smaller brush by using the left bracket key, and we'll add this back to the mask right there. But for the sake of argument, let's say that that's good enough, and we'll click Apply. Now it's got to do the autopilot routine again, and it just sharpened the cub's face, and that was it. And I could just go on Subject Only, hover there, and you could see the mask is on the cub's face. I like that, so we'll just save to Adobe Photoshop. So we remove the noise from the entire image, and we only applied sharpening to the cub's face. My goal was to try to make the sharpening of the cub's face more equal to the sharpening of the lioness. Now, this is the DNG file. This is the file that came from Photo AI, and this is our original Nikon RAW file. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to edit both of them very quickly at the same time. So I'm going to click on the first one, hold the Command key on my Mac, click on that second one so they're both selected. It's a Control key on a PC. Go over here and I'm going to make sure that auto sync is turned on. You can see I have it turned on, right? And then what that will allow me to do when I do an edit to one of the images that's selected, it will automatically do that at same exact edit to the other image as well. So we're just going to do, as I mentioned, a very quick edit. Nothing, nothing spectacular. And just get a, a white point. And we'll get a black point. I'm not going to add any texture clarity. I'm going to add some saturation. And then we're going to go to effects and we're going to add a vignette. All right. I didn't add any sharpening in Lightroom at all. Let's zoom in. This is the, well, let's go to the original raw file first and let's zoom in on this cub's face. See, it's kind of blurry. Let's zoom in on photo AI. Look at how nice and sharp that is. There's the original and here's the modified or the edited image. And then we could zoom out. Let's zoom in on mom's face. I didn't do any sharpening in Photo AI on her at all. This is the original Nikon RAW file. And here is our edited file that came from Photo AI. You could see then all the noise is removed. It looks great. So that's it. That, this, that is the new object selection brush that was introduced in version 2.2.0 of Photo AI. Currently, as I'm making this video, the latest release of Photo AI is 2.2.1 that includes that wrinkle where if you hover over an object, it will give you a preview of the mask. So that's it. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.